welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we can support our great leader Mazi Namdekanu IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and put the Fulani Janjaweed to shame. He said, The terrorist Nigerian government is using their terrorists in military uniforms to work with the Fulani terrorists in their bid to forcefully steal ancestral lands from Biafrans and other indigenous tribes in Nigeria because time is running out of them and because the indigenous tribes and Biafrans are refusing to relinquish their land to Fulani, Janjaweed and Buhari, they have refused. So now they are using the Nigerian military to help the Fulani Janjaweed steal their land. According to reports, no fewer than 40 Fulani terrorist bandits on Tuesday invaded the staff quarters of the University of Abuja located in Giri area of the Federal Capital Territory, abducting some lecturers and members of their families. Imagine what has happened there? You know, like this thing they did here was the same thing they did at the Nigerian Defense Academy. And nothing happened to the Fulani terrorists. And one thing we should understand is that the Fulani Janjaweed terrorists who don't have succeeded in evading a school like that in the federal territory if the Fulani Nigerian government is not involved. So they are being backed up by the Fulani terrorist Nigerian government. And they want to use that as their pilot scheme to see what will happen. And after the Abuja University invasion, they plan to replicate in various locations across Nigeria. The only place they are scared of going to is Biafra land because of Eastern Security Network and that is why they have militarized Biafra land to say if the military can help the Fulani terrorists steal lands in Biafra land. But they have failed. Their golden dawn is what will put them in trouble. It will put them in trouble. The scene of attack that is at the Federal Capital Territory at the University of Abuja, the scene of the attack was near the Nigerian Army's barrack and a checkpoint reportedly of personnel of the Army's Guard Battalion. So there was a battalion of Army at the checkpoint around that location, yet the Fulani terrorists were able to invade the University of Abuja and kidnap lecturers and students and members of their families. You know, at the very eyes of the so-called Nigerian military mounting a checkpoint, they saw them, but they left them to do their business because they call it business. They said, Fulani bandits, the so-called Fulani bandits, are doing their legitimate business of kidnapping. An eyewitness who pleaded anonymity said the Fulani terrorist bandits operated for over an hour 30 minutes. You know, they operated unabated. They were not disturbed. The military Personnel, the soldiers at the checkpoint close to them, they saw them, but they allowed them to do their business. You know, 
one of the eyewitness said or claimed that the bewitched residents of the staff quarters of the university and neighbors try without success to reach out to the security agent. They even ran to them at the checkpoint, but they ignored them. They said some soldiers finally responded after they had received a call from the villa to go, and that was after the Fulani terrorist bandit had a free reign without resistance and they have left. The eyewitness revealed that a public primary school behind the quarters were used by the terrorist Fulani bandits as the operational base while the assault lasted and they were being protected by men of the military. Some soldiers were guiding them. Because that location is close to the barracks. And that is why our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, have always been saying that the Fulani terrorists, they don't operate where there is no military barracks or police station or military or police checkpoints. They always operate close to that location because the military are the ones backing them up, protecting them against any fight back. You know, the funny thing is that Giri is about 45 kilometers from the three armed zone that houses the presidential villa, the National Assembly, and the Supreme Court. Yet, the full and the Nigerian government could not send their soldiers to protect, you know, Nigerians. In that university, rather, they sent all their military to Biafran land to terrorize Biafrans. Just an election in Anambra State, they have sent all the military into that state. An election. Meanwhile, an election will happen in Kaduna or Kasina and all those places. They don't do that. They don't terrorize their own people. You know, that is pure wickedness. And that is the reason why Biafrans must fight so hard to ensure that Biafra is free. And the location where the Fulani terrorists attacked the university, where they abducted some lecturers, students, and members of their families, is almost the same distance from the headquarters of the key security agencies. You know, that's where the army headquarters, around there. That's where you have the police headquarters. That's around there. And also the DSS and all the whole security agencies. Their headquarters are just located not very far from there. Yet, they did not deem it fit to send soldiers to protect the citizens. Also, the Benue State Governor, Samuel Autumn, have said the worst military regime in Nigerian history performed better than the current democratic government of Buhari. The governor described Buhari's administration as being a specialist in the destruction of security, economy, and social life of Nigerian people, which makes it worse than a military government. The governor added that the settlement for terrorist Volani killer headsmen being planned by Buhari government is in different state was to allow Volani killer headsmen to come in to settle from other countries. According to the governor, he said, Buhari government are being deceitful and not being able to secure lands in Biafra land and in Nigeria, they have rather succeeded in destroying the economy, the security, and social life, and everything you can think of in the zoo called Nigeria. According to Autumn, he said he has privilege 
to read the history of Nigeria and that of those who have been destroying Nigeria, including the military. Usually, according to him, he said that the worst democratic government is better than the military government. That is, you know, that's the slogan they use in the past. According to Otto, he said that what they used to say then was that the democratic government, the worst democratic government is better than the better military government or is better than any military government. But now, the opposite is the case. The opposite is the case. You know, what Autumn is saying now is that the worst military government we have had in the zoo called Nigeria is better than this current Buhari's government. Autumn alleged that the farm settlement being conversed by the present Buhari government was targeted at populating the nation, Nigeria, with foreign Fulanese. You know, there is another trick, again, that the presidency, the Fulani presidency, is trying to bring. Before they came with a water bill aimed at annexing our rivers, now they are talking of farm settlements. So that they can bring terrorist Fulanese from Niger Republic, from Syria alone, Mali, Chad, Mauritania, and terrorist Fulani to take over our land. And that is a capital no, it will never work. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye bye for now.